precision programmed, imprinting an idea in minutes. But a desired design for many is... Hello, come on up. Their own home. Can you tell with a newborn, this is a small living space? Yes. So builders are learning how to turn three square inches on your tabletop into 1,500 square feet. So yeah, come on in. With three bedrooms. Wow, this is very nice. And two bathrooms. We've not financed anything like that, never appraised one before. The group Sustainable Concrete Innovations completed the first printed home in Ohio this year. Why 3D print a home? And what we found is that it absolutely is a game changer. When they did this, it was a grid. Yeah. And it just kind of did the grid. But this thing you're going to get can go anywhere. They started by borrowing a printer and learning layer by layer. So this right. is the way that the print looks when we're finished. Finding the right mixture of concrete. You don't have to paint it, so it can be left the way it is. That won't crumble in Ohio's colder climates. And now instead of a crew of four to six guys to build a house, two guys are, are printing the home. I could almost see um, the opposition lobbyists saying, you're taking jobs away. Yeah, you know, a few people have said that. I've been in this business for over 30 years. And the, the reality is the jobs are already going away. And here's the difference in cost. According to these builders, a traditionally built 1,000 square foot home would ring up to about $200,000 to build due to the labor and the supplies. But due to the automation, printing that same 1,000 square foot home would ring up to about $160,000, a $40,000 difference. Good boy. Wanting savings. Good boy. And space. Mm. So you physically have to put him in the car and take him somewhere oh, yeah. for him to get some real exercise. Absolutely. Sent this Columbus pack 3D house hunting to Wapakoneta. You took the drive. Absolutely. 90 miles away. Did you bring Grace? Absolutely. <laughs> and Liam. I loved it. It's awesome. Sean Austin wants a five bedroom home. We need a larger space for a family. We need a yard. We need a space to, to let everyone be comfortable and free, you know? His wife, Chenille, is from Jamaica. What is normal in Jamaica? What is normal is concrete houses. That we can see the baby there. They've been living in their two bedroom apartment. This is the main area. This is where we hang out. Longer than expected. No, no shake. Down. To save for a down payment. Good boy. The down payment within itself is like a wall. It's like a great wall. But even if 3D printed homes cost less to create. Our target is to try to develop more affordable housing. Builders say the savings may stay with the seller. Without regulation to pass on those savings, we're relying on humanity. Yeah. And, and I think that that's the flawed part, really, um, is because we're, we're all driven by profit. John Small believes affordability will increase with interest and demand, offering this faster printing pace. Rents are not getting any cheaper. Not, not by a long shot, no. not at all. The printers predict a solution solving supply for Ohio's 270,000 housing unit gap within the next 10 years.